Uh, my name is Eva Eibel. I'm a PhD student of Chris Bean working at UCD and I'm funded by FutureWalk. So at the moment we are here in Iceland near Vatnajökull, which is the, the biggest glacier in Iceland. And what we're doing here is um, we're having six seismometers. We put them all in the ground and we will couple them together. Um, at the moment we've got five degrees. There's a lot of ash and a lot of wind in the air. And it's just really hard work. Um, well, the seismometers are now all in the ground, but we still have some work to do because we have to check all of them. We have to lie out cables to connect all of them to the central element. Um, and from there we will then send the data out to Reykjavik. FutureVolk is a European SuperSites project. It's funded by the European Commission. And the idea of the SuperSites pro projects is that they bring together large clusters of uh, people across Europe um, as a template for future uh, project development, for future directions uh, in European uh, geo-infrastructure and, and geo-research. In August 2013, uh, a group from the Geophysics Lab here in UCD um, and our collaborators from the British Geological Survey and the Icelandic Met Office went uh, to Iceland, to uh, just west of Vatnajökull Glacier for two weeks to install two seismic arrays for recording very small uh, ground vibrations on the western side of the glacier. So the team installed two arrays and each array has uh, seven of these instruments in it. So this is a seismometer or an instrument that's sensitive to very small ground vibrations. In order to connect up these two arrays they had to run out nine kilometers of cable so that all of the information can be brought back to a central unit and then is sent out by a 3G uh, phone system uh, to the Met Office in Iceland and from the Met Office in Iceland it's sent back here to UCD for analysis. So this is the end of our first week's field work. We've just finished installing the, the last station that's going to be connected to the permanent station that's here at Jokelheimer. So we're just here beside the huts at the moment. You can see the wind turbine behind me with a small bit of power that we have. So we will tonight just relax, gather up our, our equipment and make a plan for tomorrow to connect everything to the power. And then from then we move on to Lockheed for the second week's installation, second week's field work. And we will install another seven seismometers down at the Lockheed site. As part of the field work, we put in uh, these clusters of stations, a cluster of seven stations here and another cluster of seven stations here. These seven stations allow us to tell us what direction the waves are coming from. So if we've got activity over there, then we can see that the waves for that activity are coming in this direction. If we have activity over here, we can see that it's coming in this direction. So if we have cluster A and cluster B, and they're both able to tell us where the waves are coming from, if we just point back to where they're coming from, where those two lines intersect, tells us the location of that activity. Okay, so you can see on the screen here, for uh, a, an, an event, a seismic event, you can see these seismic arrivals here. These are seismic waves arriving. So they arrive at, say, this station here. This is one of our clusters that I talked about, cluster of stations. They arrive at that station from this direction here, along this red line. And they arrive at this cluster here, along this red line, from this direction. So the stations can determine which direction the waves are, the seismic waves are coming in from and by pointing this line back out we can see where it intersects and that's the location for this event. So there was some activity here, we don't know what type yet, something in the glacier, some magma movement, some water movement, but we know that it occurred at this location here based on the analysis of these two arrays. So the data for these arrays are coming back to our lab here in Dublin in real time. So you can see them coming in. The data are streaming in in real time from this array here and this array here of stations. And so the aim is to analyze these data in real time to be able to say uh, something about the real time activity uh, in this part of the, of the Bat the Ockel system.